we lose time. Okay. Ana Paula, can you help me to turn off your microphone? Thank you very much. What? Can you wait me because I don't I can hear you very well, Mateo. I think your audio is failing. ¿Sí me escuchan bien a mí? ¿Es Mateo el que se traba? Yes, teacher. Ok. <ríe> sí, ya se quedó trabado. Ok. Mm -hmm. Let's start because if not, we are losing time. I'm going to start to share my screen. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, it's loading, so let's wait a moment, please. Can you see it, Ana Paula? Okay, so here we have a question, and it says, if you could participate in an animated movie, which one would you choose and why? Me, Miss Katia, I will choose Toy Story because Toy Story 1 came up when I was 12 years old, I think, and I grew up with that, with those movies, and I like it a lot. I would like to be a Barbie there. <laughs> I will give you 10 seconds to think about your answer, and then I will ask to some of you to share it, okay? 10 seconds from now. Okay. Um, Mari Chuy, in which animated movie would you like to be? I would like to be in the movie of Intensamente. Why, Marichuy? Because, teacher, how do you say pensamientos? My thoughts. Because I want to remember all my thoughts. Okay, excellent, Marichuy. Thank you. Let me choose a boy. Aaron, uh, uh, uh. in which animated movie would you like to be? In, in the in the Incredibles. Okay, why? Would you like to be a superhero with the strong powers? Because I want to have powers to, to help other people. Okay. Uh, okay, Aaron, thank you very much. Ana Paula, in which animated movie would you like to be? This is not the movie, it's a series of Netflix. Mm. Stranger Things. Mm, yes. Yes, why? Mm. No, Stranger Things no. uh, is a series of Macro Merlines that is the uh, Merlines. And um, because I love, love the Merlines. I like it. Um, the, the Merlines. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ana Paula. Uh, Trujano, you raise your hand. Share with us your answer, please. Is the same like Ana Paula? Is done, is, is isn't a, a movie? Is and like a anime or? Uh huh. Yes, it's an anime. I like to. Uh, I, in, uh, I, I want to participate in, uh, in this anime that names Parasite is an anime and I, 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 uh, I want to be 
in that because it's very very eh, entretenido como se ¿Cómo se dice entretenido Ajá, entertainment okay thank you very much Sebastián you wanted to participate also I want to be in two animated movies okay which one the first in flash of flashpoint because here I can go to the past and be more time with my grandma. Okay. And the other is Naruto because I want to know Naruto in the real life. Okay, thank you very much. Neri, share with us your answer, please. I want to be in the movie of Ratatouille because I want to know how to prepare something. Okay, excellent. <clears throat> Thank you very much. <clears throat> A girl wants to participate? A girl? You can raise your hand. Italia. <clears throat> I want to be in cars because I want to be a car. Okay, excellent, Italia. Thank you very much. Okay, let's continue. <clears throat> For today's uh, workshop, you will need the, the learning log. I will explain you the activities from your learning log. Remember that you have the commitment to continue working on that. So the end in mind for today is to define and to identify different types of sentences. It is a topic very, very easy. We have four different types of sentences. I need all your attention because at the end we are going to play a game with all this information, okay? So pay attention. Four types of sentences. Uh, uh, Melanie, are you there, Melanie? Can you help me to read the first uh, type of sentence declarative, please? Declarative sentence tells something ends with a period. Excellent. Tell something and always ends with a period. So I will write an example. My cat is black and white, period. I'm telling you something, okay? That's it. And I'm using a period at the end. Diana, can you help me with the interrogative sentence, please? Yes. <clears throat> interrogative sentence. Ask a question ends with a question mark. Okay, so it's a question and it always, always contains a question mark at the end. So an example, can I go to the party tonight? And I'm using a question mark, okay? Thank you, Diana. Mm, Neri, can you help me with exclamatory sentence, please? Yes, I can. Okay. Exclamatory sentence shows strong feeling and with an exclamation mark. Excellent. Shows a strong feeling. Something uh, when you are very excited, cuando estás muy emocionado about something, and you have to use exclamation mark. So you can say, hurry up. I uh, know, maybe uh, six flags. Is really fun. Okay? I'm showing a strong feeling and I'm using an exclamation mark. Diego, Dieguito, are you there? Can you help me with the imperative sentence? Hi, teacher. Diego. Wait, Diego. Diego Ignacio. Uh, <laughs> imperative sentence. Gives a comma, ends with a period or an exclam exclamation mark. Okay. Imperative sentence gives you an order. When your mother says, hurry up, it's too late. That is an imperative sentence. And it always ends with a question mark, exclamation mark, sorry, or a period. For example, I always tell my daughters, uh, wash the dishes now because I hate washing the dishes, okay? When your mother tells you, come on, clean your bedroom, 
That is an imperative sentence. It's an order. Okay, so here we have the four types of sentences. Okay, again, declarative, interrogative, exclamatory, and imperative. Okay, right now I am going to explain you the activities in your learning log. And then we are going to play a game to practice this one. Okay, so open your learning log, everybody, on page 52, please. Everybody on page 52. <clears throat> In the activity number one, Melanie, can you help me to read it, please? Yes. Melanie, are you there? Choose the, correct, choose the correct words from the box to fill in the blanks. Excellent. You have to complete the eight sentences you have there according to the information. Sophie, can you help me with the number one, please? Yes. Uh, interrogative sentence, ask a question. Okay, excellent, Sophie. A, or an, an interrogative sentence, ask a question. Okay, so here you have the first one of the first activity. You can do it, or you have to do it when the session finished, okay? Then in the activity number two, Cesar, can you help me to read the instructions, please? Identify what, whether the sentence is declarative, imperative, interrogative, or exclamatory. Thank you, Cesar. So you have to write just the type of sentence. In the first one, what do you want to eat? What type of sentence it is? Interrogative. Excellent, interrogative. So you have to write interrogative and that's it. As I told you, this one is very easy. Okay, so no problems in this page. Just do the activity one and the activity two, okay? Now, in the next page, on page 53, you have the exercise number four. In this activity, they are asking you to complete the text using different types of sentence. You are going to complete the text as you prefer. You are going to write whatever you want, but using the different types of sentences. You have to use the declarative sentence, imperative sentence, interrogative sentence, and exclamatory sentence. I will help you. Travis was starting to feel tired of his room. He wanted something new. He wanted, él quería, entonces cuando dices, él quiere o él quería, ¿qué creen que sea? Imperative, interrogative, declarative. Declarative. Excellent. Tienen que escribir aquí una oración, una declarative sentence. Van a escribir lo que ustedes deseen. Van a completar el texto como ustedes deseen. Respect the types of the sentence. ¿Ok? Yes, it's clear? Everybody? No questions in this exercise? Okay. So that's it. Uh, this is everything you have to do in your learning log. Right now, we are going to play a game, okay? I am going to divide the class into teams, boys and girls. Este juego ya lo jugamos el viernes en las sesiones de apoyo. Está fácil. But right now we have types of sentences, ¿ok? Déjenme lo pongo. Ok. Team 1, you are going to be the boys. And team 2... You are going to be the girls, okay? So let's start with the boys. Can you help me to turn off your microphone? I don't know who has it. Uh, I don't know. 
chicos. Hoy no los veo, chicos. ¿Quién es? Pero se escucha un ruido. Oreb, ¿me ayudas a cerrar tu micrófono? Gracias, Oreb. ¿Alguien más lo tiene abierto? Sí. Cierren sus micrófonos, chicos. Sebastián. Ok, Sebastián, ciérrame tu micrófono. Gracias. So, let's start with the boys. Uh, Mateo, choose a number, Mateo, please. Uh, ten. Ok, number ten. For 15 points, Mateo. Ok. Doesn't going on a roller coaster sound fun? What type of sentence? Mateo, please interrogate. Excellent. Ok. Melanie, choose a number, Melanie. Um, five. Ok, five. For 10 points, Melanie, what punctuation mark goes at the end of an exclamatory sentence? A period, a comma, an exclamatory mark, an interrogative mark. Mm -hmm. um, exclamation. Okay, mark. exclamation or exclamatory mark. Excellent, Melanie. An exclamation mark. Okay. Ah, uh, boy. Neri, choose a number, Neri. Number seven, teacher. Seven. For 15 points, Neri. Harry Potter wrote the Howard's Express. What type of sentence it is? A declarative sentence, teacher. Neri says declarative. Excellent, Neri. Okay. Uh, Sophie, choose a number, Sophie. Mm, two. Two. For 25 points, Sophie, what does a declarative sentence do? ¿Qué hace declarative sentence? Tell something. Okay, Sophie says tell something. Makes a statement. It's the same. Okay, es la información que yo les di. Thank you, Sophie. Uh, a boy, a boy. Let me choose a boy. Leonel, choose a number, Leonel. Three. Three, for five points, Leonel. What are the four types of sentences? Ah, it's very easy. Give me the four uh, types. Okay. One is declarative. Huh? Other declarative. Other interrogative. And what? the other is exclamatory. Okay, let's revise. Excellent. Declarative, interrogative, imperative, and exclamatory. Okay, let me choose a girl. Diana, choose a number, Diana. Um, 11. 11. For 15 points, Diana. Come, ride the ferris wheel with us. Um, it's a... Uh... Exclamatory sentence. Okay, Diana says exclamatory sentence. No, it's imperative. It's giving you an order. Come, ride the ferris wheel with us. Acuérdense que las dos pueden terminar con exclamation mark. Oopsie. Let me choose a boy. Uh, Diego, Diego Ignacio, please. Hi, teacher. Yes. Ah, uh, the number eight. The number eight. For 15 points, Diego. We'll have an ama we'll have amazing views from the helicopter. What type of sentence is it? Exclamatory. 
Diego se hizo exclamatory. Excelente, Diego. Zafiro, Zafiro, choose a number, please. I, I can hear you very well. Can you repeat it? 12, teacher. 12. For 25 points, Zafiro, what does an exclamatory statement do? ¿Qué hace? Exclamatory. Express strong feelings. Ok, Zafiro says an exclamatory expresses strong feelings. Shows excitement is the same. Thank you, Zafiro. Correct. Voice. Uh, it turns up voice. Diego Giovanni, are you there? Diego Giovanni? Yes, the chair. Ok, turn on your camera and choose a number, please. Number one. Okay. I can see you. Okay, I, I see you now. For 10 points, Giovanni. What punctuation mark goes at the end of a declarative sentence? A comma, a period, an exclamation, an interrogative. What punctuation mark? What did you... What punctuation mark goes at the end of a declarative sentence? A comma. Can I help Giovanni? No, wait, it's Giovanni's turn. Uh, listen, Giovanni. A comma, a period, exclamatory mark, interrogative mark. Which one? A period. Okay, Giovanni says a period. Excellent, Giovanni. You see, you can do it. Excellent. Itati, choose a number, Itati. Sixteen. Sixteen. For ten points, Itati. What punctuation mark goes at the end of an interrogative sentence? An interrogative mark. Okay, it that is says interrogative mark. It, a question mark is the same. Correct, Itati, thank you. Let me choose a boy. Uh, uh, uh. Trujano, choose a number, Trujano. Mm, four. Four. For 15 points, Trujano. Meet us in front of the school at 7 a.m., for the field trip, what type of sentence? Declarative. Okay, Trujano says declarative. It's imperative, it's a command. Meet us in front of the school. Oopsie. Okay, a girl. Uh, uh, uh. Me faltaba alguien, a ver. Sitsin, choose a number, Sitsin. Six. Okay, six. For 10 points, Sitsin, what punctuation mark goes at the end of an imperative sentence? <coughs> Sorry. Sitsin, what? Bless you, teacher. Thank you. Bless you. What punctuation mark goes at the end? A comma, a period, an exclamation mark, a question mark. A period. Okay, Sitsin says a period. A period or an exclamation mark. Acuérdense que les dije que podía llevar las dos, te faltó una. Oopsie. Okay, Alfonso, choose a number, Alfonso, please. Uh, 14. Okay, 14. For 15 points, Alfonso, do you like to fly in airplanes? What type of sentence it is? Interrogative. 
Ok, Alfonso 6 interrogative. Excellent, boys. Ok, you are the same with the girls. Marichuy, choose a number, Marichuy. 15. 15. For 15 points, Marichuy, we are going to take a hot air balloon ride. What type of sentence it is? Declarative sentence. Okay, Marichuy says declarative sentence. Excellent. Okay. A boy. It's turn of the boys. Oreb, are you there, Oreb? Oreb? Yes or no, Oreb? Cesar, let's choose Cesar because he's sleeping. <laughs> Cesar, choose a number. Nine. Nine. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? No, se Ah, ya. Yeah. For 25 points, César. What does an imperative sentence do? Ask a question, tells you something. What? Uh, tells you a... Uh... An order? Okay, let's revise. Nine. Gives a Nine. command. Nine. Excellent, it's the same. Excellent. <sighs> and the last one, a girl. I need a girl. Mm -mm -mm. Who hasn't participated? I. Ana Paula, choose an, uh, you cannot choose a number. <laughs> <laughs> For 15 points, Ana Paula. I can wait to get on the cruise ship. What mm. type of sentence it is? Exclamation mark. Okay, mm. Ana Paula says exclamation, exclamatory, no? Uh, yes. <laughs> Correct, Ana Paula. Oigan, ¿qué creen? Que empataron. It's a time. Empataron, chicos. Okay. okay, that means that you pay attention and I appreciate a lot that you pay attention because some of your classmates don't pay attention in the other group, <laughs> okay? So remember, it is a commitment for you to do the activities in your learning log. If you have a question or if you are in doubt with something, please let me know through a message in the platform. Okay, I will stop recording the class.